What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. So as you guys go ahead and see, we have the Shelby GT500 right here covered up. We're gonna go ahead and actually uncover it and discuss how one bolt literally almost nearly killed me. We're gonna go ahead and get a actual cold start first, back it up so that way I can go ahead and explain it to you guys. Man, oh man, do I love uncovering this car. It's like Christmas every time unwrapping a present. problems I'm gonna go ahead and let the car actually idle for a little bit but just to go ahead and go over it just a little bit real quick for the people that are actually new to the channel this is my 2011 Shelby GT500 with a VMP Gen 3 R on E85 uh, that's pretty much it not really many bolt-ons as far as headers and you know exhaust all that it just has it is just catalyst with Roush axle backs but that's it pretty much again nothing really too crazy just a big old blower obviously uh, it should be making around 800 750 800 to the wheel around there you go ahead and see we have the four stars at the front right here uh, we need to go ahead and switch over the beat locks I had these on here for the gender reveal burnout which was, I don't even know, like two months ago. Honestly, I just haven't switched them. The car really hasn't been driven, like I said. You go ahead and see we have the new edition, which is actually the Recaro's right here, which is actually getting into the part of the video. Uh, again, this is actually what almost killed me. You go ahead and see there's no bolt right here where there's actually supposed to be. Uh, it's because it broke off, it's in there. And honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and say it was my mistake for even trying to do anything in this car with that bolt being like that. So basically the way we're gonna go ahead and remove it is we have this uh, left angle drill kit right here which uh, should allow it in theory to actually drill into it and it'll catch and then pretty much just pull it out. Before we start getting into that, I wanna go ahead and show you guys real quick. So the way the seat is right now, you go ahead and see it wobbles. And unfortunately, I didn't actually have the camera recording when it happened, but basically I was trying to do a pull and the seat was like this and I knew the seat was like this and again, it was my mistake, but I haven't gotten the car in a while. That's why I kind of got antsy, so I stepped on it and I didn't even have the drag pack, so that's the second mistake I made. And pretty much we started sliding around, and this is just me doing it so you can imagine with all of my weight sitting in the seat while doing that, while sliding around, I got thrown back and causing me to like, you know, actually end up swerving pretty much even worse than what we were already losing traction with. So that almost sent me straight off into a bad situation. But luckily, we're okay, and we're gonna go ahead and solve this right now. Because this thread is already far along in the pregnancy, she's not really in this car or the Cobra at all. So we're gonna go ahead and actually get this bolt out, uh, pretty much pull one of the passenger bolts, put it over here, and get a new one ordered in. So even though we don't actually really need to remove the seat, I'm just gonna go ahead and move it just so it doesn't damage the surrounding area right here when we're drilling. And removing the seats is very simple. Uh, it's the backs right here, or you're gonna go ahead and need a little actual deep socket. It's gonna go ahead and be a 15s on the back two. And then for the front two, it's actually gonna go ahead and be 13s. So I removed the one uh, survivor of the front. We're gonna go ahead and take off the back right now. And just like that, the seat is out. Just make sure you unclip these two at the bottom. And now we have complete access to the bolt that is broken right there. So we just use the spring loaded uh, puncher right here to actually punch a hole right in the middle, or at least the indent, so we can go ahead and actually start hitting it with the left angle drill bit right here. And then uh, if that doesn't work, we also have the extractors to go ahead and use. And we're gonna go ahead and have the vacuum above us. I know we got a little bit of a mess already, but we don't want any of the metal shavings falling in here. So hopefully we can try to vacuum it up as they fall. So you go ahead and see we're making progress. Hopefully we don't screw it up too bad, but you go ahead and see it is looking like it's almost there to actually go all the way through. And if it doesn't pull it out this way, then again, we have the extractors that we're gonna go ahead and use instead. So you guys see we already went through pretty much. We're gonna go ahead and start getting the extractor ready. Hopefully this will get it out. So unfortunately we were trying to set up the extractor here and it just flexed too much. So now uh, we're pretty much gonna go ahead and get a regular drill bit right here that we put on already. And we're gonna go ahead and try to just drill it to the next size above until we finally get this thing out. Oh, went in. So there it is, you go ahead and see this little guy right here is what nearly killed me. 
but we finally got it out. So we were able to go back to a right angle drill bit, drill the hole a little bit bigger, then went back to an extractor and actually went ahead and pulled it out. You can see obviously with the extractor, we ended up using the adjustable wrench just because typically you use one of these bad boys right here, these tools, not really sure what it's called, but basically there's no room to do that obviously. So the adjustable wrench worked perfectly fine. Just like that, that's pretty much how we got it out. So after we got it out, we ended up uh, assessing the situation and actually trying to screw in the bolt just to see if uh, the threads in here were actually damaged and they were. So that's obviously what caused it to break. Luckily we had a tap and die set at the, here at the house. So we measured it out and it ended up being a 10.5. We ended up just following and chasing the threads, reopening them again. And now we don't have a problem. It goes in nice and easy. So we should be all good to go. We're gonna go ahead and clean all this up real quick and hopefully get the seat in and hopefully take this out for a little bit of a drive. All right, so now time for the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and put the seat back in. There we have it, easy money. I'm gonna go ahead and put on these 15s. Just gonna go ahead and start them up real quick, make it even easier on myself. So with those on nice and tight, we'll go ahead and back it up and now we'll have the two in the front exposed and go ahead and get these on finally the seat is back in it's going to be 100 safe now so now with the seat back inside uh, again we can't have a passenger right now but we go ahead and send it just to go ahead and make sure everything's all good you know we had to send it real quick and we're not going to put the drag packs on that way it's a little bit more fun so we go ahead and test out the seat and you can go ahead and see the GoPro down there. That way we get a little bit of that angle. I really, really like the angle in the previous with the Cobra. So that's why we're doing it right there. So let's go ahead and end this video right. So we're gonna go ahead and launch it real quick. Let's go ahead and get a little wild. I just hit the camera on my head. <laughs> over there recording on the outside so shout out to her we're gonna go ahead and try to get a quick pick right here uh, hopefully there's enough lighting my camera is really not that good for low lighting but we're gonna try our best real quick to try to get one with the sunset right here so we're just taking some pictures with the sunset that we have right now but that's gonna go ahead and be the end of this video if you're not yet subscribed go ahead and consider subscribing it would help out a lot and i will see you guys in the next one peace out guys oh.